Hello, sir. Are you okay? Ah, oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna get you some medical help, son. Oh, no, thanks, man. I'm not trying to teabag you, sorry. No, it's, it's all right. we'll the what happened? Call. What happened? Did you hear any shots out here? I'm responding to a call of shots fired. Just give me one second, son. Let me get you some. Let me get you some EMS help. Just four things. 325 switching over to LEO. Or EMS, god damn it. Three two five to any available EMS. I'm trying to say we're a ways out, so and there's not too many folks on duty. It's kinda of a skeleton shift. Oh, I'm, Lord. I might have to take you to Sandy myself. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Three two five to any available EMS. EMS for currently busy. Ten four. We'll self transport to Sandy. Ten four. Three two five back on channel. All right, son. Just give me one second. I just want to check something. I want to see if maybe they left any tire tracks. Oh, hello. Hello. Excuse me, I'm late. Can you move? Yeah, no, no tracks. I can't hear you, son. Can you speak up? Uh, sorry, I was kind of, kind of mumbling to myself. It's kind of, kind of fading in and out of consciousness. Don't worry, we're gonna get you to a uh, hospital real quick, okay? Okay, now that we're in the confines of the vehicle, son, I want to ask you a quick question. Yes, sir. You have a firearms license? Yes, sir. Did you happen to discharge your firearm and that's why the local ran you over? So, between, between you, me, and the good ear of the Lord, I did discharge the firearm. However, I swear to you, that's, I, got, I got hit before that happened. In fact, it was kind of my intentions to possibly alert somebody, maybe the shot spotter or something of the sort, to my location. Because I wasn't getting any responses from EMS. 10-4, so what you're telling me is uh, this casing is going to come, come back to your gun, right? Well, I'm not a forensics magician or nothing like that, but that, that's, that's possible. It, you only let off a single shot, right? Might have been one or two, but no more than that. Okay, yeah, I only I only seem to find one, so it doesn't seem you actually hit anyone, so I'm not going to charge you. But I just wanted to, uh, you know, pull the veil back from this facade, as you could I, say. I, I, I appreciate that. Trust me, the paperwork I would have to do. Oh God, why am I stressed out again? God damn it. Anyways, the paperwork I'd have to do would be far more. Basically, by the time you get out of the hospital and I process you. He'd be getting out of jail anyway, so it's not even worth Dave's time right now. Thanks. Why am I getting a phone call from a number I don't recognize? Did you put your name on Craigslist? Man looking to find another Steve Austin mail. speaking. How can I help you? Um, Steve, did you already get the call on the CAD for the info department? 
Uh, no, I'm. I was responding to the shots fired call up in. Uh, I'm all the way up in Sandy. Uh, Ten for um, we just have the call up though, and I hold you got a call up though, so um, I just want to make sure. Yeah, no, I'm up here with my car, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure where anybody else is, but uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know anything. Hold on, let me check. A few city unit. Yeah, there's uh, no, there was nobody up in the county, and we're like uh, skeleton crew right now. If you look. Yeah. All right, I gotta go. I'm self transporting this guy still. Um, okay. All right. Uh, you want me to come down there to the 1052? Um, no, I just want to ask if you got him, but you I think it must be. It must be. Yeah, it must be. You, you can clear it for me. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. No worries. Have a good. Sorry, son. That was my friend from EMS who would have came to get you. I know, like I said, it's a damn skeleton crew. So, so skeleton crew, does that mean perhaps y'all are, are hiring? Oh no, we just, we just hired like a whole big ass class. It's just, you know how it is. Not everybody has time to uh, be available. That's true, they gotta go through the academy and all that too. Yeah, we just did the academy and then, uh, um, you know, a bunch of us are on probation right now. But there's some pretty good squared away sons of bitches out here. Okay. Alright, can you see her? I'll, I'll check in with Sandy. Okay, no worries. Thank you, awesome. You're welcome. Stay safe. Do not discharge your firearm for no good damn reason, please. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'm... I am guessing that's what happened. Um, I am guessing he tried... Either he tried to shoot a low... I didn't see a vehicle. That was the thing. But it's already going to cost him 50 bucks. And the most I could probably... Let's... Let's... let's hey. Damn it. Let's check. Because I have the, um, the penal codes. I bet you the worst I could charge him with is, like, some kind of reckless firearms charge. No... No... Improper exhibition of a dangerous weapon, I suppose. Oh, here we go. Discharging a firearm in public or on a residential property. But then I would have had to fucking pull the serial number from his gun, take all the pictures for the evidence and everything like that. And that's a misdemeanor one. I don't know what it would what the charge would be. But I can guarantee it's probably only a fine. Oh, damn it. <laughs> 